Ah, oh, what a beautiful day in Clash of Clans. How you doing, Brandon? If you guys didn't already know, I named my Christmas tree Brandon. The hell is this thing? Fake. Oh, look what we have here. Who do you think you are? What's your name, boy? My name is Jeff. Oh, baby, a triple! Ooh, look at all this money, money, ooh. Oh shit, we gotta start the video. <laughs> Anyways, what's up you guys? My name is Cole and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. So today for you guys, I'm gonna be helping you guys out with your Clan Wars attacks, giving you guys some awesome strategies as well as ideas on how to get more stars in Clan Wars and just do overall better. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first things first, the main part of your attack is going to be your spells. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but we might as well go over them anyway. So I am currently a town hall 9 and this strategy is going to help you guys out a lot at town hall 8 town hall 9 or town hall 10 and that is the go we wipe strategy so basically what go we wipe is is the mixture between go wipe and go wee wee if you guys would like some awesome tutorials on that go ahead and check out some other videos on my channel i will link them down below uh but yeah let's get into it <clears throat> so to start things off let's go ahead and check out our spell composition so first off we're going to go ahead and show you guys what i am rocking and i'm actually using a lightning a rage spell a heal spell as well as a jump spell i'm currently at town hall 9 so i do not get any free spells boo hoo i know i'm very sad um but yeah this is honestly the best composition to use in my opinion and i will show you guys why on my attack uh but let's move on to the war army so moving on to our army camps right here i am currently sitting at max out army camps for town hall 9 and that is 220 capacity what i have filled them with is two golems two witches six giants just kidding i messed that up it's two uh these new numbers are really messing with my head we also have six wall breakers three pekkas nine wizards and a few extra archers in case we need to get those extra outside builds which is really helpful and I will show you guys down the road why we do that and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get right into this attack you guys also don't forget about your heroes um uh, yeah they're pretty important wouldn't you say so queen no. and finally we're gonna go over what you should have in your clan castle so now let's go ahead and check out my clan castle as you can see I am rocking five wizards and some other troops now the reason I have those other troops is sometimes when you drop down your clan castle early there will be a giant bomb or some weird thing in the way and you don't want that taking out all your wizards so you might as well get a few extra troops to go ahead and take the heavy damage first and let the wizards go away and pound away at the rest of the base I think I just messed up that sentence but I'm not really sure but let's go ahead and continue on with what we were doing oh god this is weird it's like a peck of inside the giant jesus christ this is this is really hot i freaking love expos sorry that was a uh, super random so as you can see right here we are looking at the warlock of eliminate the clan that i've been chilling in and will probably be in here for quite a while just because these guys are so sexy and they are really good at clan wars so let's go ahead and check out some attacks and hopefully this helps you guys get better all right so last war we won 89 to 83 i actually forgot to use my second attack but that's okay we will save our live attack for the end of the video and it's going to be super awesome so with that being said let's go ahead and check out my first attack all right you guys so starting this one off let's go ahead and pause the video and analyze the base we are looking at so this is actually one of the hardest base to go ahead and attack um, but as you can see right here I dropped down this giant and he looks like he looks weird he looks all morphed and shit because I just dropped him down oh my god I love this game but yeah the reason I'm doing this because as you see right here I am trying to get all the clan castle troops out of that clan castle now you don't have to do that because we do have a lightning spell but it is more effective and it is easier to get rid of them so let's go ahead and see what I do right here so I'm gonna go ahead and drop down that giant and he's gonna walk right into the radius of the clan castle and luckily just luckily he barely gets all the troops out I was like oh my god did I get all the troops out and at this point I was like okay um, I forgot to bring a barbarian if you guys would like to you could probably bring a barbarian for things like this because it would have been super helpful would have been out of range of both these archer towers and the mortar wouldn't have been able to do that so I was like you know what let's drop down Harry Potter he's gonna save the day like always and as you can see we're bringing all these troops up here they're all like yeah Harry Potter I love you I love you I love you so much and Harry Potter's like whoa 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 calm down and he committed suicide brave and noble just like always and at this point I had most of the troops where I wanted them drop down an extra wall breaker just to get them up to the top you want to try and get them all in a little group. Now, what I did here was actually, it was, oh, it was such a fail. I, I was really embarrassed by that. But as you can see, I was supposed to take out that witch, but oh my god, my lightning spell, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was on drugs or something, but it missed completely. And uh, yeah, that was a major fail. So at this point, I was like, crap, how is this raid going to go? But let's go ahead and check it out and see how it ends. So luckily, one of our wizards was like, okay, I'm going to go Ron Weasley and take out that witch. Uh, she ain't got nothing on me. All he has is some skeletons. And another bad thing happened. A big giant bomb took out a lot of our wizards. So at this point, I was like, let me go ahead and drop down some wall breakers here and try and make my way towards the center. Now look 
down in the right corner of the map as you can see I have that jump spell now the reason I broke through this wall with the wall breakers is because I want to put my jump spell right there and lead right towards the town hall now whenever you guys use a jump spell make sure it leads towards this little town hall compartment because every base is going to have it and uh, that is a very key part to your attack in order to prevent failure so now all of our troops are moving in we drop down our witches and uh, I believe we're gonna drop down our heroes not too soon uh, now the reason I am waiting for this is as you can see right here the king targeted this archer tower right here now watch as we drop our other troops so I'm gonna go ahead and drop a peck I believe now actually no that was a queen but as you can see there was a little notification here and she is going for the outside so at this point I was thinking strategically you want to make sure and take your time on your attacks you guys otherwise all your troops could end up going to the outside and other failure so now that we drop that down I'm gonna drop down my jump spell perfectly leading towards the town hall drop down one P.E.K.K.A. as a teaser and I was like I'm gonna go ahead and wait to drop the rest of them and now I was like okay full attack we're gonna drop down everything and hopefully they all go towards the center now once they get close enough to the center you're gonna want to drop that rage spell to go ahead and speed them up as well as destroy as many defenses as possible so I think we're gonna go ahead and drop that down right about there and there we go so we got towards the center got towards the town hall and uh, this is where the heal spell comes in you guys so as you can see there are so many defenses and all your troops are weakening and dying so at this point I was like okay I need to drop down that heal spell drop down the heal spell saved all those wizards or at least a lot of them and there is gonna help them go into the center and take out the town hall now as you can see this guy has a lot of Teslas and obviously if you guys know obviously uh, level 3 P.E.K.K.A.s are the only ones you are gonna get at town hall 9 and uh, I mean Tesla's just oh they just wrecked them but luckily we had that heal spell and it kept them up a little bit longer uh, also all those wizards were distracting and took out the town hall so now we are at 39% we still have the Queen's special ability which is awesome we have a few witches and uh, everything else now keep in mind we still do have those extra archers so if anything goes wrong we can also go ahead and use them so activate the Queen's special ability right there take out the clan castle and I believe that is going to get us the two star right there so there we go that was super clutch but keep in mind if I didn't get that I still do have these two extra archers I meant two extra archers god call take a drink of water your mouth is so dry but yeah, you guys, so now we have the golem going 1v1 versus this cannon, and he's like, I will beat the crap out of you, and he does it. Ah, oh, that was beautiful, golem. Very nice job. Drop down an archer up here, and I dropped the other one, and uh, this is where the victory comes in. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the raid and uh, come away with the two-star victory. Wow, that was some super sexy music. But there you go, you guys. We got two stars on that one. So let's go ahead and get into our live attack, and hopefully we can do the same thing. All right, you guys. So the war is over, and I kind of overslept a little bit. I know, casual Cole sitting oversleeping. God damn it, Cole. What's your problem? But yeah, you guys, I'm going to find an attack, and I will see your sexy asses in a sec. Okay, you guys, so this looks like a very good base to go for. As you can see, we are going up against a Town Hall 9, and he has quite a bit of loot to offer as well as trophies. Uh, quite a bit of loot to offer. Woo! Uh, but yeah, so first off, I'm kind of eyeballing what I want to do with this attack. Uh, so first off, let's go ahead and pick off these easy buildings and get these percentages that we uh, might have forgot later. So let's go ahead and drop an archer there. And one more right there, and that should get all of those easy buildings. Now, the clan castle does look like it's going to be lured. So first off, we're going to use these giants and try and get them out. You always want to try and lure the clan castle as many times as you possibly can. Uh, so it doesn't look like he has anything in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. So... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start our attack now make sure you attack on the side with the heroes because those guys will lure your troops away from the center and you don't want that at all so first off let's go ahead and go from the top because uh, screw the queen she doesn't deserve this that's right bitch we ain't going from your side so let's go ahead and get it, you guys so hmm, hmm, hmm what do I want to do uh, let's go ahead and go golem golem and then back it up with a bunch of wizards let's go ahead and drop down a giant right there uh, help them out with the tanking and now let's go ahead and wall break our way in there, wall break our way in there, and that should go all the way in. Okay, there we go. And now we have a pretty good path towards the town hall. Let's go ahead and drop down our P.E.K.K.A.s, our witches, and our heroes. Now luckily this guy did not have a clan castle, but keep in mind, not everyone is like that. Uh, so now that our troops are going towards the center, we can go ahead and drop a jump spell right there and hopefully get them all going in there. Okay, we have a few witches going on the outside. Where's our heroes? Okay, nice. I really like the update on the heroes, you guys. I mean, it makes it super easy to see what they are doing and uh, keep their health up. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait a second. God damn it, you guys. Come on, make your way towards the center. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Continue. God damn it. There's a jump spell right there. What are you guys doing? Oh, my God. Supercell. Jesus Christ. Fix your game. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and drop down a rage spell right there. I don't really know what's going on. Oh my god, we didn't even drop down our queen. Wow, fail. <gasps> oh my god, that was so close. Thank you, Supercell, for the update, but that was so freaking close. We almost did not even get to use our king's ability. That would have sucked. Um, but yeah, luckily the queen is a little bit smarter. Usually she's a dumb one. Let's go ahead and drop down a heal spell right there. Heal up that P.E.K.K.A. Uh, because as you know, the Tesla is doing quite a lot of damage on him. Uh, we still have our queen, and she's, uh, of course, shooting at the wall. Thanks, Queen. Thanks a lot. Oh, that heal spell is actually working out pretty well. So, uh, of course, the Queen's still working on her wall. So let's go ahead and drop down a Clan Castle at the top. Hopefully get them going in towards the Town Hall. Wow, that was a flying giant right there. Okay, awesome. So the Tesla is uh, gone, and the Golems are tanking for our P.E.K.K.A. Okay, almost there. And let's go ahead and activate her ability there. Pop it there. Get out that Expo. Get out of the way, Expo. We don't need you. And there she goes. She is going to go for the Town Hall. What a sexy beast. Ha, here's the other Expo. We ran out of juice. Sucka. So there we go. We are going to get the Town Hall. We are already at 70%, which is pretty swag. Pretty freaking swag. I know. I'm like Justin Bieber. Swag, swag, swag on you. Um, God, Cole, shut up. You're such a loser. What? Oh, my God. Shit. Mother. Well, there you go, you guys. That is a lesson to learn. Always keep track of the timer. Uh, you want to make sure you attack as fast as possible because, as you can see, the town hall I don't know if you can tell, but it was literally a sliver away. We still had a lightning spell. I probably could have dropped it on there and got the two star, but I mean, pretty much you guys get the gist of what I was saying. Obviously, we had a little more time. This attack would have went just perfectly fine. Hopefully, this helped you guys out a lot as well as it helped me in uh, learning to look at my time more. So, there we go. Five trophies, a little bit of loot. Not bad, not bad. And let's go ahead and head back to base. Why couldn't you just shoot the town hall faster? I mean, just like jump over the wall and like start punching it or something. I don't know. Slap it with your titties. But yeah, you guys, I think that's going to wrap up the episode. If you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff and want more of these episodes, go ahead and let me know down in the comments as well as leave a like on this video. Uh, so with that being said, you guys have a great day. And as always, people, Jumbox. Just kidding. Stacy. Run, motherfucker. Run, run, motherfucker.